Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're gonna be up against Speedman. And yes, he's actually a, a very good guy, a very skilled player, but since Confed is weak, you know, um, I'm going to ask for a buff. Low joke. <laughs> Alright, so, um, of course, before we start, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification to all notifications so you're not gonna miss an upload or stream from my channel. Let's go. Tournament Crossfire. The map is Wild Clover. New objective. Let's go. Again, I'll make this uh, base, um, or this HQ, as high level as I can possibly can. Now, I'll have to, of course, um, build shenanigans right here, which will actually help me develop the bases. Fast forward again. Okay. Gather those containers because I can... And since I'm confed, it's actually easier to do so than that of the resistance because assaults can actually destroy or kill a rifleman 1v1. Again, your uh, anti-air being placed around here along with some rocket towers right off the bat. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Lol. Okay. So, okay, you're already right here. Just got what I have. And he saw that this HQ is actually mm, sus. <laughs> Alright. Now I have the X facility around here and as many administrative buildings placed around over here. He actually scouted both bases and saw that I have rocket towers around here. And an anti-air probably. So basically he could not really attack with the dragonfly around here. Scout right here. This is the nothing base, as there's absolutely nothing there. Only HQ and some buildings. Okay. Now, Dragonflies are going to be used to attack as a force speed one does. Um, he's going to attack using the Dragonfly. Oh god, look at those Dragonflies. Four of them. Okay, Azus. Typhoons are going to be out. Okay. Oh no! Hmm. Okay, using the uh, Cerberus ability to, of course, um, retreat. And then, of course, uh, my Typhoons will have free shots on those. Um, Dragonfly. Now, followed by two Jaguars and Porcupines that are going to demolish my bunker around here. Okay, so I'm just waiting for my Cerberus to. You know, for the passive to cool down, and I'll have to immediately attack using it. Okay. Ah. <laughs> okay, that was Miss Micro there. <laughs> All right, I'm going HQ level four, and again, one AV factory around here to, of course, zone out any pending shenanigans. Okay, so that's actually a wise choice using a set combination of units versus what I have. So he has like dragonfly, porcupines, more porcupines, and so on. I only have a Zeus around here, but since I'm confed, just a Zeus alone can actually destroy a Jaguar being supported by five porcupines. All because I am confed. Alright, hmm, Zeus are so weak. Okay. Okay, so that Zeus will basically die, but that's completely fine. I'll also have a rocket tower being placed around there, as obviously I do not have enough right here. He has too much. Even though my Zeus are strong, it can be outnumbered. Okay, and so, attacking less than the 6 minute mark and are trying to destroy what I have. Sadly, those porcupines machine guns are so imbalanced that it could not really destroy a rocket tower being uh, in construction. Given the low armor, just the HP as an armor, but still could not destroy it, it's because it needs more nerf. Okay, those porcupines. Oh god, so disgusting. Okay, well, I'm going for a shield generator to of course amped up the survivability of my already ridiculously strong Zeus and I need more buff for it because I'm confessed. 
Okay, now obviously more uh, power plant rocket tower here to of course help defend against any bending shenanigans. I'll seek up a, or soak up a uh, cyclone around here, which are going to be used to scout later on. Fast forward once more. Second vehicle factory and a rocket tower once more to help me defend against any bending shenanigans. No hawk as it is, as it is just level 1 avia factory, so it's just going to be a, uh, well, Dragonfly Special Vehicle Factory full land army composition from here on with just a Dragonfly acting as a scout. Okay. Alright, so I have a total of five rocket towers at this point, three positioned around here, one of which covers the bottom area and two of which covers this wider area. Hmm, very neat because I'm in bed. Okay. Going for an X facility level 3 so that of course I will have, you know, I'll have a Solaris here. Oh god, look at that. Mm. The haha -ha play so imbalanced and the Cyclones are so useless. Okay, total of 6 now. Another bunker around here, which will make perfect sense because of course a bunker is anti-everything except jets. Okay, good scout right here. Saw Chameleon is already out. I placed a Cyclone around here to of course gain high ground view and alert me for any bending attack. A shield is also out here on my end and more Jaguar's shield are now going to be produced. As you guys can see right here, I'm also amping up the uh, production of those Cyclones that I have. Oh wow, there's actually an engagement right here where in which the, the resistance will retreat just because they saw a shield generator which makes basically everything of the confed more immortal than it already is. So, you know, <laughs> I need to ask for a buff. More buff for the shield for more convenience. Oh, and here goes. He's trying to poke again. And yeah, oh god, look at the damage of those Jaguars are so cute and lovely. Alright, now I'll have the servers jump inside that fog around there and destroy as many useless resistance units as I can. And uh, basically I have the authority to ask for a nerf on those useless things. Ah, uh, look at that, so useless. Ah, oh, god. Ah, uh, man, they did not even destroy a single Zeus, but... They destroyed two typhoons. Oh, that should not be. My Cerberus has been killed. Two typhoons has been destroyed. Oh, God, this is so imbalanced. It's too strong. Okay. And now, so Lars is going to pop out. And so on. I'll use a recovery boost around here to, of course, recover the HP of my already ridiculously bruised up Zeus that can still tank so many damage even if it's boosted up. Now more Typhoons as of course this guy might have the annoying Dragonfly spamming. Okay. I have a few Cyclones around here which I will move over this location. So of course to, well, Uselify those Chameleon, you know, which basically makes it useless. Oh and there's like another engagement around here. And, oh god, look at that. Oh god. Damn. Oh man, seriously man. I know Speedman is a good player, but he just chose the wrong faction. As you guys can see, that many Jaguars, Chameleon, and Porcupines did not destroy a single Zeus under the shield, all because I am confed. And I even have the right to ask for a buff, because I want to. Look at that. Oh god. Ah, this faction deserves respect for losing so much. Oh god. Look at that. Mm. Poor guy. Chose the wrong faction. Okay. And now, I don't even need those cyclones anymore. It's just for insurance purposes. I can already destroy a space, but I chose not to because I am in bed. I need to toy with my food. 
Alright. So yes, I'm going for HQ level 5 because I can. He is very in the game. And I'm going to have a construction yard. And then I'll go ahead and attack him once more. Oh god, look at that. So useless. Oh man, the, the Solaris needs to have more width on those active ability. And look at this, I'm building a base inside his base. So to of course expand my territory and to push him away because he's actually the resistance faction. This just how it is. Oh god, I'm so glad to be in bed. So overpowered, but hmm, I'm going to say it's weak for... So devs could actually buff it even further with no reason. Okay. Alright, well, um, jokes aside, he actually played well there. If he pushed a little bit further there with those dragonfly attacking me from a separate angle, instead of just over here, like attacking those power plants at the backside, he could have actually won as I will not have enough to defend against everything. Or perhaps if he added a grenadier. I would have not have anything. Alright, well, thank you so much for watching. That's all for this video. And if you guys enjoyed it, smash the like button and turn on the notification to all notifications so you're not going to miss an upload or stream from my channel. Likewise, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day and good luck with your battles. Bye!